they have played a very important role in uh, taking technology to the rural areas as you can see here they are in a rural area here and they have played a very important role in taking technology to the people and because of initiatives like theirs and because of the initiatives by the government of India to reach the young people this is the Akash tablet which uh, has been made available in the market at a very low rate it's uh, about 1500 to 2000 rupees in the Indian currency which is uh, uh, now uh, available to people now the government is planning to launch it in a large scale so that everybody so that everybody uh, get uh, the opportunity to use it okay now it is 30 us dollars i didn't know about that sir thank you very much and as you can see here now technology has reached the rural areas where very old people even the um, the people who don't seem to be uh, very literate they can also make use of technology for their benefits so first of all as i have already told technology technology would be used as a tool technology when we use it as a tool it facilitates the enhancement of quality education improvisation of effects and efficacy as we know we, we can we start with right right from the primary education up to higher education everywhere technology has pervaded we can call it embedded because it was earlier dominated by the traditional methods of learning and teaching but now after the intervention of technology things have changed now education has become effective with the help of technology it promotes educational empowerment of people through the leveling of inequalities and impressions particularly in a country like india where there are multiple where there are multiple layers in the society we got it um, we we get a lot of opportunity for um, taking uh, for um, taking technology to the people and leveling the inequalities because in a in a general classroom traditional classroom we find people of different castes people of different uh, um, levels in the society people of different religions in the society but when technology is there when people are meeting online no such questions come so it has leveled presence it enhances the scope for social networking among people across the world and facilitations facilitates the emergence of a global village so that's a great thing that is happening as we can see here as dr nelly was telling at the beginning of this class that we are people from across the world from various parts of the world without any boundaries so now it is a class without any boundaries it has happened because and social networking has also helped us understand our cultures understand our um, history and other parts of our respective countries another very important contribution of technology is for the for the disabled people the differently abled people because with the help of technology particularly the visually challenged people now they have become empowered with the help of technology there are some softwares like jaws for windows that is screen reading software nvda non visual desktop accessibility ocr that is optical character recognition tts text to speech on android mobiles and windows these are very useful technologies for people who are visually challenged because i have got a colleague of mine who is visually challenged but you will not believe me he does everything everything that um, are able to with the help of the softwares he has been provided with by the our headquarters good access and success of the disadvantaged sex people living in remote and inaccessible locations i talk about my area later on actually in i live in a area in an area where the rate of literacy is only 40% it's very much unbelievable and the percentage of people living below poverty line is as low as is as high as 80% so one can imagine the kind of life these people might be living if technology can be provided on a large scale to these people and be, they can be empowered educationally so definitely it will have a great uh, impact on these people and facilitate their educational empowerment 
it has ensured effective efficient engaging learning when there is synergy between technology and curriculum it is very much important synergy has to be there in many in many cases it so happens in a curriculum the technology has is made a part of it but it is not properly implemented as a result of this what happens technology doesn't become successful as we expect technology facilitates self paced learning with limited or no aid teachers in open and online learning situations and particularly it suits the learning needs of various categories of learners with different styles and socio economic background that's very uh, useful application of technology it ensures the speedy and timely accomplishment of tasks in institutions and organizations that we all of us know about that it facilitates effective accurate transparent corruption free and cost effective and timely transaction of administrative academic and financial matters technology has come as a great help in these areas because government of odisha now it has started using technology on a large scale for the admission of the students through a student admission management system not only that government of odisha has also started uh, in using technology for online recruitment of college teachers it's a very great initiative by the government so it has reduced a lot of particularly in public life it has enabled the teachers and students to create supplementary materials to enhance the quality of their teaching and learning now the teachers don't have to go and um, check for the library there but they can they can use technology and create their own materials for their own benefit it facilitates the training of the workforce for 21st century skills and competencies like soft skills social digital skills thinking skills and communication skills for the learners for the workforce which is going to be ready for the for this millennium technology can be used for effective and qualitative teaching learning transactions particularly when the number of students is large and infrastructure facilities are either improper or inadequate it's a really great benefit for places where the infrastructure facilities are not very for people because in those places what happens the classrooms are not there even in there are many places where teachers are not there so in that case what happens technology can be since somebody has uh, harriet has requested that i think it should be uh, available to all people technology can be used for effective and quality teaching learning transfer as i have already said particular in places where where learners are at their liberty to co locate co locate means learners of different places they are able to be at one place then connect and collaborate themselves to construct meaning in response to the changing context it can be used as a powerful tool for the slow learners to learn additional things on their own and catch up with their peers in course of time it can be used as a tool for creating database of the students with storage and retrieval facilities and making use of it as and when required for complete particularly in the field of research okay it had some problem actually that's why i i, I could not share the screen with all so uh, my apologies for that now technology 
the multimedia technology it can be integrated with the face to face mode of teaching to make learning teaching learning transactions very interesting attention sustaining and make it effective then near face to face teaching by the teachers now teachers are also seen to be are required to be the facilitators inside the classroom they just don't uh, stand on the stage and give preachings give long lectures it's not required now in the modern classrooms so technology can be a great help there where teaching learning transactions can be very useful in the technology enabled classrooms the learners are active participants in the process of learning and learn and uh, teaching and not just the recipients of information passive recipients of information technology enabled learning facilitates critical thinking problem solving skills and negotiation of meaning with the help of prior learning experiences by forcing the learners to learn and solve the problems on their own technology enabled education has become a panacea for the country's great problem of resources and has become a viable alternative to the people who have for various reasons have not been able to avail the face to face conventional education uh, we know all these things technology like cd dvd wikis messops lms they have made learning effective and engaging for the learners technology enabled learning management systems like moodle blackboard sakai are being increasingly used to supplement face to face learning in many advanced countries and most importantly most importantly technology has brought about radical changes in the publishing industry with the publication of e journals e newspapers and e books it has facilitated the access of billions of oer open education resources which dr sharma will be talking about today on varieties of disciplines recordings of the lectures by eminent educationists and has greatly contributed to the academic works across the globe a tool for empowerment now we will see technology as a trap you can see here in this picture that it's not a village where there is no supply of electricity it's a madrasa in uttar pradesh where the children are reading in lamp light because electricity has gone out so technology as a trap inadequate infrastructural facilities available with the institutions have made the use of technology a mess in many developing countries where neither quality nor efficacy has been maintained it has been seen in many places technology is there but due to the infrastructural facilities this problem of using technology for efficacy and effective learning methods it's not happening absence of trained technical men power to handle the technical requirements during the use of technology on a large scale creates problems and hence defeats the purpose of using technology sometimes it, it so happens that the governments the state governments and central governments in india they decide to adopt technology on a large scale but what happens when the ground level people the people in the fields in the um, regional offices they are not experts in technology then the use of technology becomes a mess and it doesn't happen regularly the mismatch between the expectations of technology and the competences of the users it doesn't facilitate the effective use of the technology for academic or administrative purposes i'll be giving you examples from my own experience when i go to experimenting with technology erratic power supply in rural areas in the developed countries has become a great challenge in the use of technology for academic and administrative purposes you will be surprised to know not even in rural areas even in great metropolitan cities like delhi also power cuts happen for long hours where a person is not able to make use of technology because our laptops and our backups they don't support for long hours so it is a great problem for people who use technology in such areas low bandwidth of internet connections disables the efforts of the aspirants to use technology for personal and professional development 
as i told you in my introduction class by introduction of to this class that i have been given this opportunity by dr nelly for this mooc 3 because i could not get connected to my class and there was frequent interruption of internet during the last class so we had to cancel the class and reschedule it for mooc 3 so the threat of damage to technology due to the inappropriate use by ignorant learners cannot be ruled out sometimes it also so happens that people who are not very experts in technology they keep on using technology and as a result of that what happens technology gets damaged and the people are not able to make use of it inappropriate management management of technology leads to technical snags hence causes disruption in communication thus debilitating teaching learning transactions for example here just now i try to share the screen with my uh, attendees in my class but i was not able to that's why i had to discard that had i continued with that that would have interrupted in my communication with my people in my class technology is often seen as a crutch to people hello michael uh, thank you very much we are welcome to the class technology is often seen as a crutch to people suffering from intellectual handicaps intellectual handicaps i will definitely the wiz iq desktop i tried it last week but it didn't happen i will definitely get it done technology is often seen as a crutch to people suffering from intellectual handicaps generally in my area it is suppose that people who use powerpoints and continue speaking line by line from the powerpoints they are not able to remember the things properly that's why they are using powerpoint so it is a kind of support to people who are suffering from intellectual handicaps hence it prevents originality and creativity in the absence of electricity technology turns into a trap and incapacitates the users preparedness those people who are not well prepared it's definitely a trap for them because they find themselves very helpless i remember a situation in chandigarh what happened there was a presentation by british council and there was a person uh, she had come prepared with all these slides on powerpoint and all of a sudden the uh, light, lights went out and that person was not able to make the presentation and so the organizers they had to change it in the developing countries where a provision of a basic education remains a challenge this of technology with the teaching learning transactions becomes an impossible goal in countries like ours india where education for all at the primary level has been a great challenge in spite of the right to education given by the people it is still a challenge for for the government to reach to take use of technology on a large scale ignores the individual ability of experts equal expertise from all and hence becomes largely ineffective so technology technology has to be used on a large scale but when all the people are not when all the people are not properly trained and when they don't non interactive technologies people from active participation as they don't have the opportunity to see clarifications and give suggestions particularly the academic programs broadcast by many of the eminent education institutions in the country they are not accepted by many people because there is because of the lack of interactive facility people watch them people see them but they cannot interact with the people who are the resource persons there on the online classes cultural differences okay they, they they have to think but sometimes it doesn't happen non interactive technologies give our people i have already said that in online classes cultural differences and time differences often send the learners and affect appropriate communication between them 
I have written this line because the time difference between uh, USA, EST USA and India is 10 and half hours. For example, for the showcasing, live class on showcase is at 1.30 today. So, 1.30 a.m. So, I will be waiting until 1.30 to take part in that class. So, in, in, in such situations, there is possibility that a person may withdraw. In spite of the best efforts of the best educators, the return on investment on technology, particularly ICT, has not been very encouraging. Though the use of technology has become a fashion in the education world, it has not been successful in bringing about spectacular and systematic changes. And the innovations claimed to have been brought about with the use of technology have not been recognized to be real innovations. Uh, my, my confidence has not been undermined. That's why I am getting registered for one course after another, Dr. Nelly. So I will not let my confidence down definitely be with technology whatever be the problems in my way the purpose of having discussion forum on the learning management system in online teaching learning situations can be defeated if it is not properly designed and there is not enough scope for the learners to keep themselves engaged under communicative and collaborative learning environments the key challenges we face in e-learning and learning distance learning this is a quotation by Mr. Som Naidu. He is an authority on e-learning. Is that our failure to focus our energies on the critical learning and teaching questions, lack of attention of to full sorry to careful design of suitable learning experiences, inappropriate selection of tools and technology, and our lack of attention to their use and implementation. Though technology has proved to be a boon for open and distance education. It is yet to find a significant place for itself in conventional face-to-face -face education where majority of the teachers and learners depend upon traditional modes of teaching and learning. So now I will be talking about the real topic that is my experiment with technology, the trials, the trips and the triumphs. In the developing countries like India in most of the cases Use of technology starts with the use of Microsoft Word as I did, as I did on the desktops, moves on to laptops with PowerPoints. Of course, I am not ending with PowerPoints, but I, I am planning to go ahead, much ahead. Users moving from semi-urban to rural areas due to their low or limited exposure to technology. When I was working in the Regional Institute of Standi we had teachers from various parts of Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Chandigarh and Jammu and Kashmir and sometimes it so happened that the people were not exposed to technology at all. So they, we had to spend a lot of time with these trainees in training them in the basic uses of technology. Teachers dealing with learners from rural backgrounds are required to spend more time with learners ill equipped with the skills required for the use of technology, as I have already said that. The asynchronous feedback mechanism in teaching learning transactions is less effective than the feedback received in face-to-face -face situations. In web conference or live classes like this, the immediate face-to-face -face facility is there, then that's fine. But when the feedback is asynchronous, it doesn't solve the required purpose sometimes. I would definitely do Dr. Sarma. Preferences of the users differ when there is opportunity for collaborative asynchronous learning and often can cause gaps in communication. I had an experience like this when I was doing PG diploma in e-learning from IGNU. I had learners from various parts of this country, India, and different people wanted different times. We were put in groups, but somebody wanted to have the class at 2 p.m. Somebody wanted to have it at 5 p.m. Somebody had to uh, wanted to have it at 9 p.m. So there was a problem in uh, putting all of them together and having the classes for collaborative learning and teaching and learning. Social and official commitments come 
in the way in time of submitting assignments within the given deadlines particularly for people who have many commitments and who are in uh, responsible positions they find it very difficult to uh, find time for example uh, for submitting the showcase for our um, Moodle for teachers 10.30 of yesterday was the last date but I had two training pro I had a training program which was going on at that time which was going on at that time so I, I could not find much time to work in the morning and try for that in spite of that that didn't happen lack of internet facilities with required bandwidth often jeopardize the efforts of the learners in spite of their zeal and commitment even if a person has zeal and commitment a person cannot do anything if internet doesn't support him absence of people with the basic technical know-how in the vicinity that can drag a learner away from a course being pursued sometimes it so happens as it happened in my case when i needed some help in the use of technology i didn't find somebody particularly when there was no connection through internet because when the internet is there i can talk to my mentors i can talk to my facilitators through email but when it is not there i didn't find anybody so i had a lot of problem in some places lack of incentive from the parent organization demotivates people from using technology on their own people who are working in different sectors they should be given constant support definitely harriet i also agree with this because we cannot be replaced with technology technology would be there but human beings are definitely more valuable more useful first first to first classes will never will never be will cannot be replaced because these live classes they are also face to place classes so they cannot be replaced while using technology at the classroom using powerpoint presentation cds dvds etc for teaching communication skills and video recordings in the regional institute of english chandigarh it has been a rewarding experience but the technical expertise of the technical assistant had been of immense use and sometimes it was imperative sometimes it so happened that there are there were a couple of things that i couldn't understand i had to ask him and constantly learn from the technical assistant there support from the head of the institution for use of technology inside the class and sponsorship for a 10 week course on teaching of english to young learners from minimum bc baltimore county usa it paid it proved quite favorable to me and it inspired me to go for online course on pg diploma in e learning from igno under the mentorship of professor sanjay misra who is now the director of semka commonwealth of learning i it was while pursuing pg dl that i came in contact with iq through which i was required to teach online for a one month course on english online as one of the requirements of the program since then i have been using it sporadically for enhancing my skills and competencies in online teaching and learning until i got into ri regional institute of english chandigarh in 2006 my exposure to technology was confined to the computers through the presentation of documents on microsoft word and powerpoint or browsing of the internet for checking of mails but my entry into ri was a turning point in my life as I threw it open, threw open a world of challenges and opportunities for me. Under the mentorship of my director, Dr. Sharda Kosik, I grew from a novice in technology into a regular user of technology, where I was required to put my skills and competencies to use frequently, both as a teacher and as a learner of technologies. Each of my brushes with technology has given me a new experience. The first one with UMBC USA was an exposure to the use of technology in online courses the second one with pgdl and moodle was an exploration of technology and the present one with moodle for teachers ebo 2014 it has been an insight into the experiment with technology where i am constantly experiment with the competencies and skills that i have been able to acquire
while pursuing the course from umbc i was exposed to the use of blackboard and during pgtel i was exposed to moodle i found the similar features interesting but the new features have baffled me as the new features of moodle do now but i love working on them and learning from them it was mandatory in pgtel to create a a wiki book and publish it online which forced me to write communicate to connect and publish it on the wiki educator the link is provided here it has been a great experience till date and inspires me to work harder for similar assignments my transition from an advanced place like chandigarh to a remote place like koraput actually i have by mistake in the written chandigarh here it is koraput the place i was talking about it has made my experiments and assignments more challenging as the new location is a backward location in every sense of the term and has come in my way in all efforts i have faltered but i have never stopped now while working for the course moodle 2014 I have got the opportunity to publish one video on YouTube. And meanwhile, I have published three more videos, and it is a complete, a really nice experience. It has been a great experience to see an academic video uploaded on the YouTube, and it has encouraged me to plan for similar things in future. So I have some humble suggestions. Technology should only be put to use. when both the users and the implementers are ready with the skills it thank you dr sharma it has to be used only when the users and the implementers only if somebody decides to implement technology it does it's not enough the users should also be equally ready to use it use of ict in education should actually facilitate the creation of an egalitarian class in the society and should not create a digital divide between the have and the have nots unfortunately it has become everybody cannot afford technology and places like mine it is a greater challenge as i have already told you 80% of the people in my area they live below poverty line in the areas in the areas where there are frequent chances of power cuts they have to on both the computers and the internet computers should be designed with inbuilt power backup as a mechanism backup mechanism as is there for the laptops so that one can use them for longer hours without having to depend upon electricity in online courses with deadlines for admission of assignments of assignments the deadlines should be relaxed the deadline should be relaxed for people from difficult reasons with various social and technological handicaps as far as possible the students enrolled for a course should have the autonomy to complete the assignments within the time period of the course so that they can complete the assignments at their own pace moodle for teachers in year 2014 is an example in this regard and dr nellis nice gesture to me this evening is also an example in this regard I could not upload the two minutes video presentation of my learning from Moodle for Teachers on the last day, but but I I could send it to her through Google Drive only today, only after she gave me the green signal to go ahead with that. Thank you, Dr. Nelly again. The governments in developing countries and the managers of education should be willing to allocate allocate adequate resources and administer proper money. monitoring mechanism to ensure the effective implementation of for academic purposes i it is a very sad thing that i would like to share with you in government of odisha what have happened many people may have gone for language laboratories particularly the private institutions but due to the lack of trained technical manpower these language laboratories are lying unused some of them are also government colleges and language laboratories are lying locked for quite some time so sorry the academic and administrative personnel in any education institution should be well versed through web post well trained through web conference and teleconferencing before a 
particular technology is put to use on a large scale. For example, our university, in our university, we have EduSet in all the business centers. There are many multiple uh, connections which have been provided through EduSat to the regional center, the study centers. But people who present through EduSat, the number of people who present through EduSat is very limited in number because of various problems that I have already talked about. Sometimes there is no electricity, sometimes there is internet connectivity problem, sometimes technical uh, people are not there. University has spent lakhs of rupees on providing this technology, but it has to be explored further to make it more effective. We should trap technology frustration before it traps us. Because technology should not be put to use as long as the related skills and competencies are acquired. I agree with many people who have uh, opined in the chat box that we should not be replaced by technology and we should not think of having technology unless we are well equipped it, uh, with it. Otherwise, it is better that we go ahead with face-to-face -face classes only. There should be continuous commitment to quality improvement in terms of the use and implementation of technology. Otherwise, technology affordances remain underutilized and learning outcomes remain unrealized. I repeat this. There should be continuous commitment to quality improvement in terms of the use and implementation of technology. If technology is used for just the sake of it, then it will not serve any purpose. Because technology affordances will not remain, if they remain underutilized, the learning outcomes, they will not be realized ever. Technology being used should commiserate with the type of the student's thought and the nature of the subject. Mobile learning and learning through notebooks, iPads, iPods should be extensively explored to teach various topics and make teaching and learning engaging and interesting. Effective and learner-friendly technology should accommodate heterogeneous groups of learners with different levels of skills and competencies. Technology as far as possible should be innovative, learner-friendly and cost-effective. Particularly for the developing countries, it has to be cost-effective. Otherwise, cannot reach the masses. It, it will remain confined to the elite people. Education institutions should collaborate to design, develop and deliver online programs of common interest of for mutual benefit so that there is no wastage of resources and duplicity of efforts. I repeat this. Education institutions should collaborate to design, develop and deliver online programs of common interest for mutual benefit so that there is no wastage of resources and duplicity of efforts. Sometimes it so happens, various universities, they come out with a similar kind of online programs with the same courses, which doesn't serve, which serve the same purpose. In that case, a lot of money is spent, but people are not very much benefited out of it. Technologies should be intensely used for both instruction and evaluation to the quality of teaching learning transactions and ensure transparent and reliable evaluation of the performance of the because man-based evaluation, yeah, human-based evaluation has been questioned many has been questioned many times, and so technological evaluation through technology has been recommended. Technology should facilitate creation and of the platform for the design, development, and delivery of online courses, which are suitable for people who want to combine their work family and study. Online learning, online teaching is going to replace, going to replace open and distance education in very short period of time. So people who are working, people who want to be trained through online courses, online programs, people who want to be educated, empowered through online programs, they should be uh, given a chance to learn through online and it should be so designed that they are able to combine their work, their family and their study. Thank you very much. Now I invite comments from my participants in the class. 
particularly dr nelly i i would look forward points thank you thank you so much um for that presentation lots of thinking and uh, your experiences i'm sure are very similar to many of us i know that uh, thank thank you all for this we, we have all experienced uh technology nice gesture. going bad I, I if i have not been able to give what you expected from me i will definitely try <laughs> to make it better in my next presentation hopefully you okay thank you harriet thank you very much actually people won't believe whatever i am saying here they might think that i am i, I am a pessimist but if you visit a place like mine you would understand what kind of uh, area that i am living in Uh, it it will fire it it will sound a little many people because they they may not be exposed to places like ours Th thank you to me can you hear me thank thank you dr nelly can you hear me i don't know if you can hear me i don't think you can hear me do you want me to oh my stop gosh. my video and audio so that you will be able to speak no, no okay no. thank you very much i think you should be able to hear me now can you hear me now um for some reason my audio disappeared did you join just now yeah i don't know why my audio disappeared uh can you hear me now no you thank you can't. thank you Sorry. thank you for much some everybody reason, my audio just went down again All right, let me know if you can hear me. Oh, you could probably hear me yelling now. Okay, let me um extend the class. For some reason my uh audio seems to keep going down, but it should be really loud, so let me lower it. You probably Yes. All right. Sorry about that. My audio kept going down. Thank you so much uh for that wonderful <laughs> presentation i'm i'm sure you can hear me now right i can see and um for being honest because that's all I, we I, can. i i i can hear good because that's all we can be is honest and that's how we can help others with our experiences and that's what connecting online was about uh this went over to moodle mooc 3 but it's the same idea the idea is to share how we do things so that we can connect and help Thank others around uh, the globe and technology fails everyone you know even when you're driving your car you get a flat tire or if you're riding your bicycle you'll get a flat uh tire so uh, whatever we use you know if it's technology right. it 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 goes you know <laughs> nothing is perfect not technology but we can do the most and that's what i think you've been doing in moodle for teachers evo and i'm amazed by the fact that you're able to be there so many hours so maybe you can tell me the trick how is it that with all your the problems you have with connections and so on that you're able to respond in the moodle for teachers evo so often that i thought you had the best connection in the world i think we um thank you very much i don't know if you heard my question but thank you thank you everybody thank you so much uh for being here and we're going to have uh, Dr. Remish in um in oh there you are <laughs> i guess you refresh the page we're going to in a about 20 minutes or so and uh we're looking forward to that so thank you thank you everyone bye for now thank you thank you dr nelly thank and you thomas thank you professor sharma thank you everybody who attended my class and uh, appreciated my efforts thank you very much thank you
Thank you.